OWO reports that Spock's shuttle is reaching the edge of Discovery's sensor range, and that even with sensors at maximum, they would not be able to keep track on him for long. She learns from Stamets that he, Reno, and Tilly are trapped inside the lab and can't even reach the warp core, and that May has reattached itself to Tilly, taking her in and out of consciousness. When Reno remarks that they couldn't ask May what it wanted, Stamets suggests that perhaps they could, using the harmonic resonator he used to interface with the mycelial network, which could let May speak through Tilly. <sighs> There's a lot of just babble. <laughs> so much trouble keeping up with what's going on here. Okay, so Burnham, hearing this about the um, the harmonic resonator, realizes that the sphere was trying to do this to the ship, basically, to use a method that it could get in and speak to them. And then Saru realizes that the UV is spelling out some kind of communication. This is where they decide that the sphere is dying and it wants to share what it's learned before it dies. Yeah, because it's not making first contact. It's basically making last contact because it knew it was about to die. And it had a lot of information to offload. Yeah. In the engineering lab, Stamets sets up the harmonic resonator, but the signal is weak. Unable to reach May. Oh, Reno suggests that they should uh, do some trepanation. Basically, what it comes down to is they realize, hey, if we pop a hole in Tilly's head, we can get some of that magnetic resonance out of there and make it speak to us. And uh, they're like, okay, so laser scalpel? And Reno's like, uh, no, we're going to go with the drill. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe Stamet says, you know, they're doing it old school, but he wants to make sure that Reno cleans the drill bit really well first or something. <laughs> yeah. From tactical, Reese detects the energy buildup inside the sphere spiking at 10,000 Kelvin and rising. Pike orders all non-essential power to weapons, targeting the sphere's radial axis with photon torpedoes. Just then, Saru and Burnham enter and ask Pike to hold fire. Saru explains that the Kelpians have empathy hardwired into their genetic structure, and that he could feel the sphere reaching out, trying to tell them something before it died. The sphere, he explains, was trying to use Discovery's computer to communicate with them, but it had overloaded the system with information. Pike is suspicious that lowering the shields could be what it needs to destroy them, but Saru insists that the sphere does not wish to harm them. Trying to prepare Tilly for the procedure, Stamets asks her to sing her favorite song, and they sing Space Oddity. <laughs> and uh, he pulls a pretty dirty stunt here. He gets her singing, and then he just pops a hole right in her head with a drill bit. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I don't think uh, it's not like Tilly was um, none the wiser. She watched it happen. 